Hello everybody, I'm Dunahammer with Dunahammer Game Channel, welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4 A to Z Kai's Redux Edition, where today we're taking another trip back down to South America, where we're today playing as Brazil, and of course we're going to be doing the Empire Brazil route, because it's clearly the most fun, and I want to try and subjugate all of America, except from Canada, because I'm probably going to join the Entente, but I would love to be able to get my hands on the US as well. Obviously, they have the Civil War, so I might as well just intervene in that, you know, later on down the line. I'll probably help the Entente as well, win in uh, Europe, or at least help do something to try and get them back home. If not, we'll maybe have to take down the Germans as well, um, but we'll see what happens. My priority right now is to create the Empire of Brazil first. So here we are, Brazil in 1936. We are currently led by Otavio Manga Biera, the humble appeaser, so he's bringing our stability up but our war support down. We do have four national spirits, we have election year tensions, extreme decentralization, wake of the war, and divided military. So all negative modifiers, which is just fantastic. Of course we do have a relatively big focus tree. Obviously we're not going to touch any of this stuff here because that's to do with the coup in the Union of Brazil and we're not going to be touching any of this stuff here. We're just going to be primarily focusing on this part of the tree and these parts here. I don't know if we get affected by Black Monday. I don't see anything that modifies it. Um, but I'm assuming we're probably hit by something, surely. Oh my days. You know it's a great start when you don't even have infantry equipment 1 or motorized research. That's that's great. At least we know what artillery is and tanks. That's that's something. And oh jeez, we're gonna gonna have to do a lot of work to uh, modernize our army. That's for sure. So we've got an event here in regards to the Carles regime, which is of course this gentleman down here in the Argentinian national state. We have the option to denounce his regime, support it. Or issue no statement. I think I'm going to go ahead and denounce it because I don't like you. Ah, I was fully expecting that we would be affected by Black Monday and it's it's hurting all right. So this is our first kind of main event that we need to focus on here to get the Empire of Brazil. We need to nominate uh, Baras Barasso or Barroso? Gustavo Dobbed Bar Barroso. There we go. Propaganda Master, we need to nominate him because he is ultimately going to help restore the Empire. The federal elections of 1936, the day of the decision has finally arrived. We could go for Vargas, Prestes, Mangabiera, but of course we're going with big Gustavo. The Nat Pops win and will take power next month. Gustavo has been sworn in as President of Brazil today. In his speech he announces the beginning of a new era for Brazil and that this election will is going to define our country's future. Yeah, damn right, we're certainly smashing straight through this part of the tree now because I want to get to corporate power as soon as possible to get rid of the Black Monday fallout. And we also lose Wake of the War with a focus prior to doing that as well, so we need to get straight down here as quickly as humanly possible. Perfect. The moment has come. The Imperial Coronation. The final preparations are being made to restore the Empire. Well, here we are. Well, here we are. The day has come. The Imperial Coronation. I don't really know what the difference is between the names, but I'm going to go for Enrique. Viva Dom Pedro Enrique. It is time for the Empire of Brazil to be reborn. There we go. We've just got rid of Wake of the War, which is pretty good because that's given us some war support back and obviously has removed a lot more negative modifiers. Just dealing with Black Monday now, which is going to help our industry get going again. Corporate power is done, so Black Monday no longer affects us. Well, let's go ahead and get rid of extreme decentralization now. We're just working through our problems one at a time. We'll really just be left with divided military, because harsh approach disappears in January. I'll never understand why Canada has such a massive love for intervening in the Civil War. I don't get it. So... They're going to be doing terribly in that, and they're going to end up doing terribly in the second Velcro now. Ah, Duarte II of Portugal has just married today a member of the Imperial family of Brazil and distant relative Maria Francisca de Bragantica in a lavish wedding in La Boza. Fantastic. So, us in Portugal pretty much love each other at this point. 
I honestly don't know why you would choose the Federal Army. Why you'd take that minus 30% stability loss. Whereas if you go down the adopt state militias into the hierarchy, you deal with divided military and gain a plus 5 to I think, yeah, division organisation. Which is better than nothing. I bet you weren't expecting us to be invading Bolivia this early on, or invading anybody, but yeah, we're going after Bolivia. They are a relatively easy target to deal with, and it means I've got a better border with both Chile and Argentina. Well, there goes Bolivia. Was not a difficult war at all. Um, what has happened there? U Ukraine has just joined the Austrians. Um, how have you done that? Oh, because... Because they can. Oh well, and they're going to probably claim Bessarabia and some other territory as well. Oh well, okay, that's that's interesting. Not seen that happen for. I don't know when the last time I saw that happen was. So the King of Patagonia has begged us to save the Mapuche, if I pronounce that correctly. I do apologise if I haven't. So yeah, he shocked the general public of Brazil with his tales of brutality against his people. Okay, we will punish these barbarians. Who are destroying these pro people? We will. We will eventually push south. I am just going to take on Peru and Ecuador and then maybe just push further north and I'll deal with them when the second Velcraig kicks off. Hello, Peru, or should I say the realm of Peru? I have come for you. And oh my days, we are butchering you straight away. They've got 4 to 14 divisions. So we have 10 more divisions than their max, and obviously our divisions are of fantastic quality in comparison to theirs. So this should be relatively straightforward until we get maybe deeper into the mountainous terrain. Oh, I didn't realise we had a little gap up here in our border with them. That, that's fine, I, I, I really don't care if they start pushing in there. I'm pushing towards Lima anyways. This has been a very successful war. It, it should never have went any other way anyways. We're very close to having finish them off. I'm sure as soon as their capital falls they will be uh, down and out. And there we go, Peru has been dealt with. I will take their ships and all of their territory. I'll be honest, don't know when we uh, unlocked these war decisions. We can go after the Patagonian Workers Front and the Federal Socialist Republic of Chile. Um, I might just spam out some more divisions right now. And I might just invade them. So I just went ahead and restored the Incan Empire. I, I don't really know what that does for their focus tree. I don't think it does anything. But uh, they're called... I have no idea how to pronounce that. And I do not know how to pronounce his name either. But um, that's interesting. Well, the Argentinian national state anyways to capitulate very, very soon. It looks like they're... Yeah, there they go. They're gone. Ah! I was just going to straight up invade them, but they've joined the Third International. So we will... Hold our horses for the time being. Oh well, Ukraine's demanded Bessarabia and they've not been given it, so uh, the Austrian faction is at war with the Belgrade Pact now. Really, Uruguay, they refused our demands, so we're going to war with Uruguay. Actually send some planes into combat for for this, Let's get some air superiority. There we go, they're dead and they've taken quite a decent number of guns from them as well, fantastic. Well, the Patagonian Workers Front has declared their independence from Chile. So I'm thinking we just let them know we're here by uh, swiftly invading them because they only have 23 divisions max. So I reckon we could take them on right now and then that just leaves Chile to, to fight with when the second Velcraig gets underway. Here we go, men. Let us call in our wonderful little puppets. And to war we go. Oh well, the second Velcraig is underway. We will eventually join in that, uh, we can join the Reich's Pact. Okay, that, that could be interesting. Um, we could then obviously betray the Entente, well not betray the Entente, but take them down in my uh, campaign to take over all of uh, North America and the Americas. Oh, we can join the Entente now if we want to. I don't know who I want to join. Oh, Buenos Aires has fallen. That's good, we are moving quite nicely down, and we have got a nice wee encirclement over there, which is greatly beneficial to winning this war. And there we go, the People's Republic of Argentina has been swiftly dealt with. They are no longer a threat to us. Do you know what? 
Let's liberate Argentina and Patagonia. We did say we're going to help out uh, the Patagonian king. There he is, Anton the third welcome they've just carried out a diplomatic mission to the nigerian free state and they have agreed to it so we're actually getting nigerian trade which is bringing conservative goods down by minus three percent oh my days the austrian faction keeps on getting thicker the sarajevo accords have formed it's just a shame turkey well the Ottoman empire got destroyed before they joined that but that is a pretty Ruthless looking faction and they'll have Serbia join the ranks soon as well. Well, Ecuador is soon going to be joining our wonderful ever-growing South American Empire. Perfect Kaito has fallen and should be the final nail in the coffin, which it is. Hello Colombia, it's time for you to go because you're a commune. I'm not having you exist on our borders. Well, thanks for taking everyone's ships. I've got an 88 ship strong fleet, which is very, very good. I don't even know if we'll need this naval invasion now, actually. Because we are pushing quite nicely into them. With, uh, with the 24 divisions that we've got. And we can actually now head into Venezuela as well. Who's currently slapping the Entente. So naval invasion is launching now. Uh, we are just about to take Bogota, though. So I don't know. No, it's not killed them off just yet. And there goes Colombia. Hello, Venezuela. I bet you weren't expecting to see me. Oh, nice. We've defeated Venezuela already. Sorry, Panama. It's time for you to die now. And I get Costa Rica as well, because they're a puppet of Panama right now. So it's a two for one deal here. Nice. They were not protecting Colombia at all. Cool. So we're either side of Panama now. So they, they shouldn't really... Be able to withstand the pressure of dealing with us. Oh yeah, I can't wait to have control of the Panama Canal. It's going to be a glorious day for the Empire. Okay, we're looking for large quantities of capital necessary for such an enormous endeavour to our uh, steel mills. Uh, we could ask Germany or Canada, but I think we go ahead and do... We have investors right here in Brazil. I think I'll take the 12 and then minus 5 and minus 5 for infantry equipment and towed artillery. So now we've got steel mills only or heavy industry orientated for the CSN. I'm going to go for heavy industry orientated. I don't really care about the 3% resource efficiency gain. I'll take the one off map, Savvy. I know you've just formed Central American Confederation, but I am taking you down. Oh wow, they, they weren't even protecting Belize. Oh well, we've uh, got right in behind them then. I think... We go ahead here for the matter of Guyana and offer to join the war if we get the East Guyanan jungle, which we already have, and East Guyana. All right, we don't have that though. Um, yeah, let's do. It. Let's offer to join the war if they give us it. Okay, a deal has been reached. So we join the Entente and we become the controller of East Guyana. Oh, I love how we got the IEDC. Oh, we've got investment as well already. Civilian and any boost two are... Actually, we'll take the construction engineers this time. 30% construction bonus. I think that would be pretty advantageous for us. And we will go ahead and join Isaac. Perfect, the Central American Confederation is now all mine. So I've just went ahead and annexed Panama into our fantastic Central American Republic. I've kept control of the Panama Canal. Um... Yeah, pretty much. We, we only really need to take down Chile and Paraguay to have control of all of South America. The only parts we won't control directly will be the, these two little parts. But apart from that, we are in a good position. And yes, I may be going after uh, Cuba because I can. Sorry, Cuba. You have Chromium and I want it. Okay, sadly, we're not going to win that naval invasion. We're just doing one invasion. I think we're going to have to do multiple at the same time. All right, here we go. A better invasion of Cuba is underway. Yeah, fall of Havana. Nice weed circlement in there, and they're dead. Um, I'm sorry, but I did not just take over. Well, see, it does become cores of them. No, 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 no. Cuba's my puppet. Well, I think it's about time we actually went ahead and joined the second Velcraig. Okay, so we're in the war. I am ready to somewhat rock and roll. Let us call in our wonderful little puppets. Oh my days, how the hell's Paraguay got that many divisions? And oh dear, it already looks like chilly. Oh, Paraguay is gone. It uh, looks like they're in a little spot of bother. Well, it's been costly actually this. We've lost 100k, but I have to say I'm, I'm not that concerned about losing manpower. Decent group of divisions in there that have been encircled and... 
Looks like Chile's capital's gonna be under siege. Oh, yep, they're dying. Bye! Thanks for joining us! Yeah, we've got an absolute ton of divisions pushing down south. But, yeah, I, I think we're all in the clear here. South America is ours. So I was thinking about taking out Mexico next. And, like, calling Central America into the war, but... I don't think I'm going to. That, that's such a death stack of units for either side. It's just going to be chaotic. So I'm just going to move all of my troops to Europe. Well, um, I'm very displeased by this. I'm very displeased indeed. Um, but the game keeps crashing now. It keeps crashing at probably the, the best point of what this video is leading up to. is our kind of intervention in Europe to finish taking down the Third International. And in that way, we could finally say that all of... South America was ours because we'd puppet Paraguay and we'd puppet Chile. But, um, yeah, I have no idea what's causing the crash. Um, Somalia puts a new guy in power in the next few days, so I tried annexing them with Ethiopia. The Congo here, the mercenaries go to war with Leopoldville at roughly the same time. Thought it was both of those, not them that's doing it, so I have no idea what's causing the crash. But it's a pain in the backside. I hate when this happens. I hate it. Because obviously my plan was... To even try and get Mexico in the peace deal, and then I guess we could have intervened in the American Civil War. That's what I was hoping to do as well, but... Oh well. Um, still a relatively successful game is the Empire Brazil. In fact, it's a very good one. South America is ours. It is ours. Um, and it's what I really wanted to do. And we do have this wonderful, unique puppet. Uh, Peru. Which I'm... Tawan Tsui. There we go. That's the best pronunciation you're going to get out of me. But uh, I do apologise for this, but I am going to leave the video here. So thank you very, very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I shall be back very, very soon for another video. Until then, take care. Share bye. Then now.